This question says, snow blindness refers to a various type of skin cancers. No, this is not the definition for the snow blindness. B, aging of skin. No. C, inflammation of cornea due to UVB. Yes, this is true. UVB radiations or the ultraviolet B radiations cause the inflammation of cornea and we call it snow blindness. D, cataract of eye. No. So, the correct option for the given question is option C which says inflammation of cornea due to UVB. Let's pick up the next question. This question is asking that in the equation dn by dt is equal to rn k minus n upon k, this k refers to population density, intrinsic rate, carrying capacity, the base of the natural logarithms. This k refers to the carrying capacity. Now, population density is uh, represented by n over here. Intrinsic rate of natural increase is represented by R over here. So, we can say the carrying capacity is represented by K. So, the correct option for the given question is option C. Let's move to the next question. This question says which of the following statements is incorrect about DNA? Guanine is bonded with cytosine with the three hydrogen bonds. This is correct statement, but the question is asking about the incorrect statement. B, the two chains are coiled in a right-handed fashion. This is also true that the two chains of DNA are coiled in a right-handed fashion. C, backbone is constituted by sugar phosphate. This is also true backbone of DNA is constituted by sugar phosphate or we say that sugar phosphate constitute the backbone. D, a purine comes opposite to a purine only. No, this is not correct. A purine comes opposite to the pyrimidine. That's why they maintain the structure of the DNA. So, the correct option for the given question is option D which says a purine comes opposite to a purine only as this is the incorrect statement. Let's move to the next question. This question says some dividing cells exit the cell cycle and enter vegetative inactive stage called G1, G2 and S. They are the subphases for the interphase where a cell prepares itself for the division. G0 is the inactive stage where cells generally do not proliferate. So, the correct option for the given question is option C which is G0. Let's move to the next question. This question says flour is perigynous in mustard has superior ovary. So true for brinjal and potato. All of them have superior ovary. So, the flour is hypogynous. In case of peach, the flower is perigynous as it has half inferior ovary. So, the correct option for the given question is option D which says peach. Let's move to the next question. 